Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Sienna, and on this channel, we talk all things home decor, home aesthetics, mixing high and low with new and old. And in today's video, I'm gonna be discussing on ways to incorporate antique and vintage items into your modern home. So if this is something you are interested in watching, just keep on watching. All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be breaking it down on ways that I have incorporated vintage and antique items into my everyday decor. Now, if you've been with me for a while, my style has absolutely changed since starting this channel, and I think that is completely normal. We all are evolving, not only from a personal level, but also within our homes. And so over the last maybe year and a half, I have been incorporating vintage and antique pieces into my everyday modern decor. Now, I used to work for Restoration Hardware about three years ago, and I had a lot of modern pieces, but I wanted to showcase how it is that I have kept those modern pieces while still incorporating that old with new. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a breakdown on how I do it. But a rule of thumb for me is I will say I incorporate about 15% of that old vintage type pieces within my modern day decor. So it's not overwhelming with antiques, but just little bits and pieces of it here throughout my home to just make it feel a little bit unique and special. Without further ado, you guys, let's get into today's video. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys some B-rolls of me antique shopping because one of my biggest questions that I always get is what do you look for when you're antique shopping? And that's a great question, but I don't really know what I'm looking for until I find it. That's half the fun of antique shopping in my opinion is it's kind of like a scavenger hunt. You really don't know what you're on the lookout for until you come across it. So one of the things that I do think you should be on the hunt for and a really easy element to add into really any home decor style is anything stone. Natural materials are gonna be a very easy thing to incorporate in your home. For example, I have a beautiful vintage stone mortar that I have used for my salt pinch dish. I think this is just a really cool element to add next to your stove. It's also bringing in a natural material, breaking up from all the other materials in my home. I've also used this in open shelving as a way to add some extra visual interest for decor. I've also used this as a way to have some bath salts next to my bathtub. So I definitely think anything stone, stone trays, it's a very universal material and item to add to your home decor, regardless again of what home decor style that you embody. Now, if you are one that really enjoys rustic materials, I think dough bowls are such a cool piece to bring to your home. I have two that I was gifted from my mom and they're so cool. I not only use these as a decor element, but I love utilizing these as my fruit bowl. I'll have these on my counter island. They're huge, they're oversized. They bring the warmth, they bring that just used and lived in feeling. And you can usually find these pretty inexpensive at antique shops. They do get up there, especially if you're going for those super big oversized bowls. But I think bringing that vintage bowl in is a really great staple to your toolbox. Dough bowls are a really great item to be on the lookout for in your next Next trip to your antique shop. So the next item on my list when it comes to antique shopping, which I've talked about many times here on my channel, is artwork. I think artwork is the easiest place to start if you are just dipping your feet into antique shopping. There is so much artwork to be found out there, and honestly, there is such an array of different styles from colorful oil paintings, floral to landscaping. There really is a lot of selection out there depending on your style. Now, if you don't like the frame that it comes in, maybe it's in a super ornate gold frame, which you will see a lot of at antique stores, just pop that out of the frame and put it in something a little bit more modern. But I really have been enjoying buying antique artwork because I feel like it's something that we're not going to see all over the place. It's not a mass produced item. You're not gonna be able to find it at Hobby Lobby or Target. So you're, you're getting that unique and one of a kind element to your space, which I've definitely been enjoying more of instead of that mass produced artwork. So I think, again, if you are just getting into antique and vintage shopping, going and checking out the artwork is gonna be a really great place for you to find those one of a kind items. And honestly, the, the prices aren't going to be that bad given they are one of a kind and typically hand painted or hand drawn by an artist. So this next decor element I think is the easiest item to start with when it comes to getting into antique and vintage shopping. It is one of the easier items to incorporate into your home, especially if you have more of a modern design, and that is candlestick holders. There is always such a variety of candlestick holders when you go into any antique store, and I love the fact that they are all different. Some of them are in that like aged brass where they have that patina on them. You have different shapes and sizes. They're usually all very well priced, and again, when you're 
you're antique shopping, you're finding something that not everybody else is gonna have, which I think really adds to that special aspect when it comes to antique shopping. So again, if you are just getting into antique shop, I think candlestick holders are a really great place to start. And if you wanna add a little bit more of that modern twist, head over to Hobby Lobby and pick up some twisted candlestick holders. So you're kind of mixing again, that new modern element with the older aged candlestick holder, and it will make for a really beautiful curated style. All right, so the next item that we're gonna be discussing is decorative items. Now, when I stated when you go antique shopping, you really don't know what you're looking for until you come across it. Decorative items is it. I don't know what I'm looking for until I find it, but I think this is a really cool place to find just really cool one of a kind pieces. Now I've found my vintage stamps that I place on top of my coffee table books and I love them because they are so unique. They are all very different from one another. They're different shapes and different sizes. I've styled them on coffee tables. I've also styled them um, as a way to have them as artwork. And I've also come across some really cool vintage cowbells that I use during the holiday season and on top of my coffee table decor. So I think this is a spot where you're really gonna shine through. You're really gonna find some really unique pieces that are going to resonate with your style. And they're gonna act as that last 10% of your maybe coffee table style or your open shelf style. And so hopefully when you are in your next trip to an antique shop, you'll be on the hunt for more of those decorative figurines and items to include into your space. All right, and the last item on this list of things to be on the hunt for when you are antique and vintage shopping is anything primitive. Now, I know this is not going to be for everybody because it's definitely more of a rustic look, a wabi-sabi look, but I think if you are getting more into that, I think this is a really great thing to add to your space skinny benches, vintage stools, anything that you can add to any space to add that warmth, to add that texture. I've added a really beautiful vintage skinny bench to the edge of my bed. And I love the juxtaposition between my super modern bed and this really fun vintage age skinny bench. It just adds that character, it adds a very visually interesting and appealing look. I know it might not be for everybody, but anything vintage or stool-like could be really great to add to any space. You could even add these to a bathroom next to your bathtub or if you have a powder bathroom that doesn't have a lot of space, but maybe you wanna have maybe a little candle or something on there to have for your guests. It's a really great way to just add that in there, bring in the warmth, bring in the character, and it's also going to be one of a kind. All right, you guys, and that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this list on ways to incorporate vintage and antique items into your home. If maybe you are just getting into this new world of shopping and hopefully it will give you a couple of ideas on how to to incorporate it, especially if you lean a little bit more modern or if you still really enjoy modern day pieces, that is okay. There are so many ways to incorporate these really fun, vintage and antique, one of a kind items to our spaces. But until the next time, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here and we'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.